Welcome, Mike McMillan here. And see the scrolling text down at the bottom of my screen? I'm going to show you how to do that today, right now. OK, well, I just opened up a brand new ScreenFlow document right here. Um, nothing in it. And before I begin, one thing I like to do, you can see I have a black workspace right up here. And in ScreenFlow, um, there's a little icon down here. And right here, if I click on this box, I can set the color of my background to any color I'd like. And right now it's black. I'm going to change this to white. And I'm going to change it to white because it will show up better. And you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little bit better. OK? So step one, uh, let's come in. And the first thing that I will do is I'm going to take a pencil tool right up here. There are all these different things I can do, different you know, uh, kinds of drawings I can do. But I want to make a rectangle with a solid fill color. Okay, And I can pick any color fill that I'd like. I kind of like this blue color right there. So I will pick that. And then I am going to come in and um, let's see. Let me move this back. I'm going to come in and draw. I've got my pencil tool. Just draw a rectangle. Make it look like this. Okay. Download my free ebook, Grow Your YouTube Channel Fast, with my 20 top YouTube hacks. The link is in the description below. And then I'll drag it all the way to the left. I'll come on the right hand side and drag it all the way to the right so it completely fills my workspace. Okay. And if yours is, you know, if you made a big rectangle, just squeeze it down so it's something about that size, something like that. And you can make your text flow um, at the top of the screen, all the way at the bottom. I like to do it at the bottom, but with a little white space underneath, <clears throat> something like that. OK, and that'll work just fine. OK, so we've made our rectangle. This is where the text will go. So the next thing I'll do is come up to my text tool, click on that, click the plus sign. That creates some text for me. You can see it looks like this. Now, in ScreenFlow, it always gives you a black backdrop. And I don't want a black backdrop. I just want some white text. OK. And again, I could come over to my color picker here, and I could pick any color text I want, but I want white text. So then I just drag it down there, and there's my text. That's what I'm going to make flow across the screen. But this text is a little bit big. So what I'll do, it says 98. I'm not sure if these are in points or, you know, it's not points. I don't know what it is. But I'm going to move it down to 64. And then you can see that fits in there very nicely. OK, there's my text. Um, the other thing that I'll do is come up here. And it says Gil Sands right now. I'm going to change the font to Impact right there. And now you can see that's a good, bold, fat text that shows up really, really well. OK, and I'll move that up just a little bit right there. Now, suppose I've got a video. I'm making a brand new video. <clears throat> I'm going to come on and talk in the beginning. But I want some text flowing right at the start of my video. So I might make it say something like this. You can make your text say anything you'd like. But I could make it say, um, hi, um, let's say, Mike McMillan here. OK. And I could put a period, <clears throat> a couple spaces, and then uh, may, I might make it say, welcome, just like that. OK, so now I've got some text. And I can make this text flow across this blue background right there. OK, so the next thing that I need to do is, um, OK, I've made that text. Let me move this text back here. And I'll just stretch it out a little ways like that. OK. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I need to tell ScreenFlow how I want this to flow. And up here in my menu bar, there's a, a it looks like a stopwatch. And it says Video Motion. Different softwares, video edit, editing applications, they may say transitions or they may say animations. OK. Here it says Video Motions. So what I'm going to do is highlight my text right down here, click on Action, and now you can see this yellow area is a video motion. Okay, 
it lets me make some motion. So what I need to do is I need to tell ScreenFlow where I want my text to move from. And in the beginning, I move my scrubber bar all the way over to the beginning. And so in the beginning, what I'm going to do is drag this all the way off this edge of the screen so it doesn't show up. It's still out here, but I dragged it off the edge of the screen. Okay. And then I need to move my scrubber bar to the end of that purple animation area. And now I need to tell ScreenFlow where I want my text to end up. And I want it to end up way over here off the screen on the right hand side. Okay. Now here's the problem. Um, and let me do this. I'm going to take this blue rectangle that I made and let me just drag it out here and make it 15 or 20 seconds or so. Okay. And I'll take this text, I'll stretch that out and make it, you know, 15 seconds or so. Okay. It doesn't really matter, but I want more than that. So now what I have, if I move this scrubber bar all the way back, something funny is going to happen. You say, well, Mike, that's not very good, but let's just play it and see. Whoa. Did you see how fast that went across there? <laughs> okay. And the reason is, by default, this is set at one half a second, meaning it takes one half a second to scroll across there. I don't want half a second. I want it to take, um, from experience, I would say maybe about uh, 11 or 12 seconds. I'll drag it out to about 12 seconds. This means that this time it will take about 12 seconds to scroll across there. And I'll go all the way back to the beginning and let's play it and see what this looks like there's my text. Okay. And it's scrolling across just like that. And then it goes off the edge and it disappears. Okay. Now that's pretty cool. I'll stop that. Um, but the problem is, let me squeeze my timeline down so we can see this a little bit better. And I'm going to drag this out a little farther. Okay. The problem is when it goes off the screen, then now I've got all this dead space with this blue line across here. And I don't want that. I want it to say something else when it gets off the screen. So I'll come down here. I'm going to highlight that first animation I made. I'm going to hit on my Mac. I'm going to hit command C, or I could come up to edit and just click on copy. Okay. I'll come down here and hit command C. And I just copied this block of text, this animation I made. So now I move my scrubber bar out to the end of this. I'll hit command V, or I could come up to edit and just do paste. Okay. So now what I have is when this plays, let me just play the last part right here. When this plays and goes off the screen, I've got some dead space. And now here comes the same thing. It's the same thing again, but I don't want it to say the same thing. I want some different text. So what I'll do is come in here and say, um, let's, let's see. I'm sorry. Let me get up on my keyboard here. Um, let's make some cool graphics today. Okay, maybe that's what I want the next line of text to say. So let's just try that. So that first text goes off and then this text starts just like that. So now I've got two lines of text. See how I did that? The thing I don't like about this is when that text goes off, I've got that dead blue space before this text starts. So there's a simple way to correct that. I'm going to select everything on my timeline and I'm going to drag it down and get some more workspace up here, right here. Okay. Now watch what I do. I'm going to take this second block of text that I made and I'm going to drag it over, whoops, on top of that first text. And when I come over, you can see right now, let me just scrub across there. See what I'm doing? I'm dragging this text over closer to that first block of text so that they overlap. And now if I come back here, let's let this play right there. Okay. It's, hi, Mike McMillan here. Okay. I've got that and see how the next line of text comes in very close to that. I can make it come as close as I want to or as far away as I want to. And then when that goes off the screen, 
right there, then I'm done. Okay? Now, what I would do, and by the way, if you wanted to do this again, you could simply take this and say, copy that, and then, you know, move it in someplace like this and paste it in. I could put it down below there and I could paste this in and then type some different text in right here and make it say something else. I'm not going to do that, but you could have as many of these, just stagger them off and on, one above and one below like this. And you could have as many different text blocks scroll as you want. Now this isn't really designed to make text that scrolls continuously all the way through your video. I would make maybe a couple scrolls in the beginning, wait a minute or two, you could have another scroll, wait a few minutes, have another scroll like that. that this works uh, great for that. Now, when you get to the end, like right here, when the last part of those letters go off, I would take this rectangle you've got and I would move it all the way back so it's right there. So now at the end, when that goes off, that disappears. Okay, and if I had something else out here, um, you would see that that would, that would disappear. Okay, now let me show you something cool that we can do with this um, right here. I have some images in here. I've got a folder and uh, I've got a video. We're going to put the video in there, but I just want to show you a couple things. This is just some, these are some backgrounds that I purchased um, in a graphics pack. They look like this. Any one of these could work really well. But I'm going to take this red, uh, red curtain. And I'll just drag it down, put it in my timeline down here so you can, you can see that. And then what I'll do <coughs> is, see, this is the blue background that I had. I'm going to delete that, okay? And I'm going to take this red curtain, kind of a grungy red curtain background, okay? And I'm going to drag that in and move this out like that, okay? If you don't have some different backgrounds, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do this part. But you could go to Photoshop and make something like this, you know, pretty easy if you wanted to. And I'm going to squeeze this down. And let me get over here and uh, squeeze this up like that. Squeeze this up like that drag this over all the way, drag this over all the way. And now what I have is something, not just a background color, but it's got some design to it, okay? And I think that's pretty cool. So now let's just go back. Here's the first line of text that scrolls across. Here comes the next line of text, okay? That scrolls across. And I could put another block of text in there if I wanted to, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, right there. And then Again, if I had more content over here, this would disappear at this point, okay? So that's pretty cool. I really, uh, I like the way that this looks right now. Now, the one thing that I don't have in here, and I need to show you, is let me come back in here and uh, go back into my folder. This is a video clip that I have. Let me just drag it in there. And this could be the opening part of my video, maybe where I want to come in, I want to talk and uh, just say a few comments in the beginning. So I'll drag this down like this and I'm going to drag it all the way over to the start in my timeline, just like this. Okay? And you need to get it at the bottom below all your graphics and everything. So that now what's going to happen is when I come back here, uh, and I'm going to take this red and I'm going to make, move the red over just so it doesn't show in the beginning. And now if I play this, let's watch and see what happens, okay? Here comes my text. I could be talking and saying something. I've got the sound cut out. Um, but I could be talking just like this for 5-10 seconds, have the graphics go across there. And I'm going to, uh, yeah right there. Now, see what happened is the text went off right, let's watch where the text goes off. The text goes off right there. So at that point, I could make this, I would shorten this up so that that red, grungy, red curtain thing disappears right at that point. So watch. 
Okay, see how that disappears? And then uh, it just goes on and I can talk more or start another part of the video clip there. So yeah, that's exactly uh, how I would do that. And then another thing, you know, and I know you maybe you don't have screen flow. One thing you could do that I kind of like to do is you could come in here and I'm sure you could do this with anything. It says add a starting transition, add an ending transition. I'm going to add an ending transition and all that's going to do is at the end, there are all different transitions you could use in here, but all this is going to do right here is when that text goes off, see how that red curtain fades away? See that? And that makes kind of a cool thing. I really like that. So watch it fade. It fades away and there we have it. Okay? So that's kind of a, get that look off my face there. <laughs> that's kind of a neat thing to do and you can do this in any uh, video editing application. I'm sure the user interface may look different, but you'll be able to do this, I'm sure, with any kind of decent video editing application. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. You know, subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. Give me a comment if you have any questions, and I will do my best to uh, try to answer those for you. Okay. Uh, that's how you do this. Have fun with it. And as always, my very best wishes for tremendous success with all that you do on your YouTube channel. Okay? I love you guys. I love you all. Take care. Be good. And go do some good with your videos. Okay? Until next time, bye-bye.